Warning, claiming Ninja from Inbox does not give tournament points. Yes, I'm glad someone else is talking about this. Because I was talking about this in the in-game chat in English too, and people didn't believe me, or I don't know what it is. But guys, let me tell you. My clan and I, when Romantu was released, my clan and I did the missions for Romantu. And, um, you know, you get him here. The thing is, if you, if what we tried to do is we filled our entire roster here. So then when we did receive Romantu from here, it would automatically go to the inbox. And why did we do that? We wanted to see if we could save or if we could pull him from the inbox and get points for him for a champion chase or for CVC. Specifically in that instance, it was for CVC. We sent him to the inbox. We claimed him from the inbox. We did not get points receiving from the inbox. That is why I was telling you guys, and I think some of you guys in the YouTube comments were even telling me, no, man, I, I, put, I put him in my inbox and he's fine. I did not claim him. I'm leaving him right here, waiting for CVC. We'll see. I could still be wrong. I could still be wrong. I could be the, the bumbling idiot here. But I don't think I am because I've tested this before and I'm seeing other people say the same thing. That it's never been the case where you can claim a champion from the inbox and get points from him. So naturally, you can understand where I'm coming from. Why I'm so adamant about this part. I'm leaving him right here. I'm not claiming him or sending him to inbox until it's time. CVC probably. I don't know. Or I, I mean, I guess I could claim him for a champion chase. If I wanted to. But I'm not going to. Because I, I think it's, it's better. I'm not going to go for this. There's no point in going for that. Let me throw uh, my uh, wife's account in here real quick. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah. So, Champion Chase. Finally, people can stop suggesting this. You don't get tournament points. Claiming champs from inbox has never given points. You're supposed to skip claiming him from the pop-up going to mail has never saved points but you can skip claiming login champs by pushing the short key exactly like the video that i sh that i shared with you guys the video that i put out like this has gone around and I, I it works on mobile too drop down blah 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 pop up won't come back you can save him you were able to save rathalos adeline or whoever you wanted by delaying them by delaying the actual collecting of them exactly Claiming from inbox has never given points. Lesson learned. I'm too new to the game to even be competitive. That's true. You need to have left it in the shop until the tournament start. Inbox means it's already claimed, thus not eligible for points. I claimed them from the shop and got points. Nice, that's what I was originally planning, but got the champ chase and points. Uh, just with voids, saving them for CVC now. Claim them from the shop to get the points. Claiming from inbox will never get you points for chase. So, I mean, yeah. These guys are saying it right here. In, in fact, let me just let me just go ahead and, and let me just claim it right here just to just to verify and prove it. And if I'm wrong, I'm fucking wrong. And I'll admit and I'll, you know, put my head back down and humble myself. But I'm I'm like 99 percent sure that it's not going to happen the way that you know it's not going to you're not going to get points from the inbox. All right. So testing it right now. We're looking champion chase. Right. Am I going to get 500 points claiming? My wife's ninja. There you go. 500 points claimed. From the actual thing. We didn't claim it from the inbox. We got our 500 points right here. So yes. Waiting to claim. Period. Just, just do it. I wouldn't pump out information. That I wasn't sure about. Well that's not entirely true. Let me, let me, let me back up there. I try my best to always give you guys the best information. And usually you can tell when I'm adamant about something. And uh, this was one of the things that I was really adamant and sure about. 99% sure. And now I'm 100% sure. Shop purchase. That's not a shop purchase. I did not buy Ninja. There you go. Claimed it from the inbox. I didn't get another set of 500 points. Hey guys, we're just going to go ahead and do like a Reddit scroll, a rapid fire response where I just kind of scroll and look at everything, but we're going to skip all the stuff that asks for help or who should I 60, that whole kind of thing. But uh, it's been a while since I've done this, so I'm pretty sure there's going to be some new stuff. 
um, apart from the half spawn fusion that I just released the video for. But before that, check this out, guys. All right, I had a merciless boot, right? I had this defense flat rolled attack quad on attack. Normally, this usually ends up just about the same, pretty pretty crap. But every now and then, you get something good, and this time I got a defense percent with a quad on the speed i'm gonna take that that seems like a win for me now who am i gonna put this on i don't know not yet i don't know anybody yet but maybe somebody like harima might be pretty good turn attack low budget cheese this is not new because i've come out with a few videos early on talking about how if you just want the turn attack tournament points right here all you have to do is just drop to like stage one, two, three, or four, especially for something like Fire Knight, and grab your points like that. Granted, you're not gonna get the gear that you want. I'll be honest with you. If you if you can, you're gonna want to go ahead and do the higher stages so you can kind of double, maybe even triple dip, get some good gear. That's what you want to do. But if you're not in a position to do that reliably and you only care about getting the points. Just go ahead and do this. If you're just trying to finish the event. Dungeon Diver, uh, Divers Timing Error. Uh, skip that. Chris, is Chris power crep or is he still S tier? I just talked about this with somebody in one of the YouTube comments. Pulled for Cardiel. Got Chris. Is there any part of the game where he's extra useful? Hydra. I'm thinking he's still a very <laughs> useful champion overall. Let's see. Chris is ageless. He's not wrong. In my opinion, he's still a beast. Great support almost everywhere. Use mine all over the place. Yeah, I still use him in Doom Tower. I still use him in Hydra, in Nightmare Hydra. Honestly, still a, an awesome, awesome champion. Great for TTA. I don't use him in Arena, but I could. Krisk is the best whenever new content comes out. He can do double ally protect, but it's not as good as Demitha or double man eater on killable comps. At least unless you have really good gear. I guess he fits into various Forever Shield comps, but it's Brogni Wixwill, who is the bread and butter of those teams. Iron Twin, that's, yeah, Iron Twins, because of his passive, where anybody who attacks him receives a debuff, the big version of decreased attack and decreased defense, pretty much you're keeping that up 100% of the time. Going up against somebody like Iron Twins is also a no-brainer because of this. Iron Twins had a lot of measures that made it a lot less straightforward to speed tune unkillable comps than it was in Clan Boss. But with a bit of time, people did make calculations for it and made unkillable speed tunes. Similarly, Hydra has a lot of variable and somewhat unpredictable timing of effects with similar intent, but people can absolutely nuke the shit out of it if they have Trunda and Yumiko resets and he's not needed. But he's always been consistently good. Before people figure out all the shenanigans, if you're missing key pieces for said shenanigans, he's good. He's good. So he's, he, yeah, he, he's not, he's not power crep. Um, but what do you guys think? I can't really think of anybody else right now who does what he does. Who gets to eat the chickens? Fatalis build. Sorry about the 2% missing crit rate. Pulled, blah, 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 stunning CB. Slayer set forge pass. Has there only been one of these so far? I may have not paid attention, but I only remember that the first one came out when Rathalos came out before it was renamed, the Rathalos set. Yeah, uh, I remember this too. There's been two, maybe three. There's only been two. Okay, It's a really good set. Really good set. Random fact of the day, this is the current maximum amount of gear sets you can have on a single champion. Really? Look at this, guys. Now, because we have a lot of one sets, one pieces, one piece sets, I mean, you can have up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, <laughs> seven different gear effects. That's pretty good for the memes. For science, you're right, Spudzy. Sets over stats, it's official. I'm confused how this is possible. It's fine. You sure you're not missing a set? Either Supersonic might be the banner or the gloves from... Oh, yeah, that's true. Off topic, but do you think... But what do you think of a soul guide? Is she good or not? Passive with niche? Warlord count? You know what? I'll just give you my opinion. 
I think she's good against somebody like Yumiko and Warlord because of her passive, which freezes them. Should I change my clan? Probably. As always, I've always said to you guys that if you have a clan, as always, I've always said. Let me reiterate that. I've always said that you should be in a clan that is appropriate for your level, your account level, wherever you're at in the game. If you're able to one key UNM and you're stuck in a clan that's not even doing NM, switch clans. It's a detriment to yourself. Fuck loyalty, unless it's like family. You know what I mean? Because if, if loyalty was true, loyalty would be going all the way around. And loyalty includes everybody working together for the greater cause, which means everybody putting in the same amount of effort so that the clan can benefit as a whole. Change your clans. The fact that you're asking this question means that you already know the answer. Because if you didn't ask this question, you'd be fine, right? But the fact that you have to answer that the fact that you need an answer to this question, one tells me that you can't think for yourself. Or two. I forgot my second point. Fucking change clans. Maybe that first part was a little harsh. Should think for yourself? Eh, I said it. I'll stick I'm gonna stand by it. I already, I already said it. Big thank you. Good job. Nether Spider. Two Greek players looking for active Greek clan. Okay. Minion faction type. What is this? The Ice Skull of Minions. Hello, I didn't see a clear when I tried understanding if Ice Golem's minions belong to a faction. They look like they could be Night Revenant. So I'm trying to understand if Constantine's block revive for enemies from the Undead Horde. Demon spawn. Night Revenant factions killed by this champion cannot be revived. Applies by default to his minions. Or if it only works with Vlad. They don't have a faction according to the code. This is true for both normal and hard modes. Yes, the game misspells faction. Fraction. Bummer, but thank you. Yeah, so. There goes that. You want to move for Sand Devil, Will the Aniri, blah, 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 blah. Reset cooldown sets. Which one's the best? Oh, this one's a good question. Let me see right here. Which is the best reset cooldown set? A four-piece reflex? I'll say this. It depends on the weapon and the man. There you go. Mid-game hurdles. New players needs help on what to focus on. If you don't know what to focus on, go farm gear. Collecting shards. Very nice. Curdle to uh, current total of serpent points. I think it was like 40,000. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Never mind. That's the something. That's the, uh, what do you call it? Deck of Fate. New player advice. In battle UI improvements. Wondering what your guys' thoughts on the on whether the UI will get improved. Would love to see stuff like it being able to toggle the ability on and off for each champion. And uh, not interested in this. This boss sucks. Yes, he does. He does suck. Double Emic for Hydra. Work my ass off to get here and still get humbled by nightmare difficulty. Yeah, that's you need synergy. Also, looking for a clan. Help me. It's all the same stuff here. Help me. Help me. Help me. Who do I do? What do I do here? Guys, is this bugged? No, this is not bugged. Equip a four, equip four champions with three four star or higher artifact sets. Yeah, this is not bugged. Allah's for Hydra, underwhelming. Is he? I thought he smacked. Rebuilt him in stone skin, put him in my tag and siege teams. Does anyone use Allah's? Just pulled him. His ratings for Hydra seem so good. Threw some gear, booked him, threw him in my brutal team. Figure the you know, you can't just throw you need to build champions with intention. That's the other thing, guys. I figured provoke would be useful. Hoped he would do decent damage. He does amazing damage. But is he completely out damaged by Rathalos? Admittedly, Rathalos does have better gear. There's your answer right there. But does he do double the damage? Don't think it's a simple gear issue. I don't know if it's a simple gear issue. I think it is. Or if Elaz isn't as good in Hydra as the ratings suggest. You're comparing a boss slayer to an overall good mythic. Yeah. So, there's that. The champ chase for ninja six star soul. Uh, six stars. That's a ninja's six star soul point cap is ridiculous. I thought I had a decent stockpile of shards saved up. Nope. I shot my wad, blew his freaking load all the way to kingdom come, and still didn't get halfway to 6,000. Let's see what the cap is. 
in order to get the and i'm not gonna do it by the way champion soul thing here you need is it a what's the cat was it six thousand why is he saying six where do you get six thousand from oh that's as far as he goes oh i guess if you're trying to finish this and get the uh, eternal soul stone you need ten thousand this sucks by the way you guys already know i you know if you're going for champion souls or champions and they do champion chase that pretty much sucks because uh you're, you're gonna be lumped in with krakens all 100 of you guys all fighting for fighting for oh there's only 50 this time around I wonder why there's only 50 it's not for your average player designed to build money from the big spenders you're never going to win first place if you can barely reach 6k. That's true. The good thing about it being so absurd is that I don't even care to take part of it. Living a peaceful life. Exactly. If you don't know, if you weren't here around the time that I did, I went for a champion. It was a champion training event. For four days, guys, I was on it. Night and day on my phone, on the PC, leaving the PC running overnight just to lose to a Kraken. Don't don't participate in these unless you are the Kraken. I don't recommend to do that. First bracket, 40k. Mine's bad at 24k. You're gonna get sniped so hard it's not worth aiming. That's true. Pay to win till you die. Just keep saying it till you cry. Pay to win, spend it all. Just keep spending till you fall. Okay, bro. The Ninja Soul is not there to win. It's for sale. It doesn't matter if you're a new player or an old or an old one or one. Doesn't matter if you're a newer player or an old one, you're in an auction with real money. Either bid for him or plan to outbid with whatever it takes. You don't answer the auction. This is not a free participant ribbon event. Yeah, pretty much modern thinker OG. It's for sale. Soulbound Boyer. Uh, AI seems to pick one character. Who to six star? Titan event question. Rotos build. Oh, man. I recently redid my roto spill. Let's see what people say because I am curious. So uh, before I read this, what I've learned is that there is a certain point, a certain threshold when it comes to rotos for attack, which is around six six thousand five hundred. Then you're gonna want to start putting stats into other things like his HP because his damage is based on HP, and so that point of diminishing returns is going to be around six point five k. I um, recently built mine with 6.5k, and somebody else in the YouTube comments on one of my posts even was like, hey, make, make him faster, so he's a little bit more competitive. I did that. I bumped his speed up by 20. I kept his crit damage at 300, and uh, yeah, I bumped up his HP to around 60k, so yeah. What am I missing with Rodos? Heard a bunch of stuff about, um, stuff about his HP being important. Crit rate and attack. He's in a broken set. Don't get him in a broken set. If you look at his multipliers, his base, his damage is based mainly off of attack with a small HP component. A large oh, the other thing was someone in my other clan told me that because um, he also scales with HP, you're gonna want to build him with extra HP, not only to make him hit harder, especially with his A2 where he steals and adds increases where he increases his own HP. It's also to help him survive that much longer, making him even harder to kill. A large HP pool means 50% threshold takes a bigger hit to get to. Is uh, Did Hill Haiti say something? Let's see here. Trusted Servant. Let's see. Okay, so I'm not going to read all that. You want HP as the main stats on the ring and the banner. That one I did know. Crit damage on the amulet. Ascensions on weapon. On the tops. On the top uh, parts should also be flat HP. And um, when I do a guide on Ninja, I'll explain the math behind the HP. Gloves, crit damage, or crit rate. Uh, chest, main stat, ascension, attack percent. Boots, speed, or attack percent. That's true. If you can get it fast enough, I would go for attack percent. Ignore accuracy. You don't want to get sheeped in arena. Check check Shiny's guide. Shiny's guide on YouTube. Oh, yeah. He probably has, like, the best guide. I've seen his rotos. 9% short on crit rate. That's true. Here is mine. Build him. As a usual, attack-based damage, 100% crit rate, 180 speed. 180 is too slow. It depends on where you're at. Oh, mid-game, that's true. Late-game, uh, crit 
damage gloves, attack chest, speed attack boots, depending on preference, alas, 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 in current control meta, um, Armand's Mikage Galathir, too slow, damager may never take a turn, in a prolonged fight, his passive will add him to, will add him 6k HP, significantly increasing damage output. Yeah, so he's saying the same things here. Savage or lethal. Yeah, I'm, I'm never going to... I've seen people build him in Relentless set, and that's pretty good too. I'm never going to build him outside of Savage, Lethal, or Merc set. Having Perception as a first set is a good idea. Should it be replaced with a Defense Ignore set? Yeah, if you can... You can I don't know about Perception. I mean, sure, if you want to decrease defense on the A1, but nah, I'm going to go straight damage. Get him in a Cruel set even. Erodos has a serious problem with attack. It can't be 2300 unless it's a month old account. Second problem, it's not 100% crit rate. I got some deserved downvotes. To meet 100% crit rate, you must seek crit rate substat on gear. Only then attack and... Yeah. Uh, so, Rodos, my favorite champion. Over Taurus. Even when I did get Taurus, Rodos was still my favorite. Am I the only one that pulls shards as soon as they get them? You're not the only one. Better to save to complete fusions. Been playing a decent amount of time. Didn't really pull them outside of fusions. Occasionally tied in events. Uh, let's see. I think 120, 180 is the Ancients. How do you even have that much space in your vault? Early game, every champ counts. You need to get into the habit of saving, though, if you intend to play through. It's hard to save as an early player. All the online tips and videos revolve around Legos. It's hard to find someone to tell you which A-tier epics and rares can actually fit into your teams. Hey, there, there are some CCs out there that do this. I'm not one of them. I know where's the fun in that. Um, delayed gratification. There are two ways to go about this, right? There's two schools of thought. Thought. One that I've peddled before is that when you're starting out, in raid you're gonna want to have every champion to help you progress through the game but then there's the other school of thought that says to wait for a 2x wait for a one plus one wait for a guaranteed event where boost the chances something like that to to summon an actual lego or an epic because pulling them outside of an event right like you want to see this 2x chance Pulling outside of that, your rates aren't going to be that great. In that instance, I probably wouldn't, uh, you know, do this unless you're doing it for something like content and you're doing it because you, you feel like it or you want to. So it really just depends. It's your account. You do what you want. That's pretty much it. Quick advice. How long before Polarium takes one away? Oh my god, that's pretty funny. I'm pretty sure they... They already took care of that. Stone skin artifacts for top place rewards. Not sure if I prefer this over relentless gear. Pipe dream anyways. Yeah. Legendary stone skin. It's crazy. Ever get the feeling the game is screwing with you? Objectively good luck. I pulled Pytheon from the summon pool. How was the game screwing with me? It's my third Pytheon. Second Duchess as well. Sulfurion. Zero need for another revive champ even if I was building for Hydra. Any other Lego there would have been new to me. Would have been instantly built as bad DPS for that faction. But nope, Pytheon number three. Guys, I've always said it. I believe I was the first one to say this. I haven't heard any other content creator say this. Or any other people say this. I think fusion champions are heavily weighted. I think the chances of you pulling a, a past fusion are a lot higher than pulling other champions like Valkyrie, for an example. Or Martyr. I don't know why. But I pulled quite a few Pytheons myself. And other fusion champions. First reaction is that I would love to have a Pytheon or Duchess or Elva. Complaining about a third Pytheon is something I can't relate to. Not yet. I don't even have a dupe. Yet. Well, if you pull the legendary from the free two Prism Shards events, you only got one. It's hard to be sympathetic. You hit the top 12 in that legendary um, blah 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 in that run. Literally three days after spending 300 thingies on a four star for Anithwi, pulled a four star for him. So yeah. Pull Jarring from the Summon Pool. Yeah, so, I mean, that's... Case shut. You kind of just have to roll with it and then move on. Account review suggestions. Why can't I exchange for High Mother? You have to get... Well, I think you... Uh... Well, let's not even talk about that. 
test defense and battle siege. That would be a pretty good idea if you could test um, defenses with your um, clan mates. Is Valkyrie the champion that shows up the most in wave content? She shows, she shows up quite a bit. How to build a lure, fast and accurate. 100% crit rate. Let me see. Energy disappeared. Double Demitha, Morag, points from the deck of fate. Issue getting ninja with a promo code. There shouldn't be. Heart Eater, looking to help, 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 help. All I see is help. Dear God. Help, help, help. Fuck off. Like, there's there's more than enough videos on YouTube. Raid has a red flag. Oh, that's true. I've been getting this a lot, too, on um, on accounts. That you ha that haven't been logged into in a long time. Prism shard, prism shard questions. Why is silver and gold medal have the same value in real time arena upgrade? That's true. I've always wondered this. Why is it that it costs the same amount of metals to upgrade from one level to the next? Shouldn't it convert? Right. Let me see here. For an example, um, for an example, if I wanted to upgrade this, I could either pay fifty bronze, twenty-five silver, or just thirteen gold. It looks like it halves. The higher the the um, the value of the metal, the less you're gonna have to spend it on, right? But in Live Arena, it doesn't seem to be the same case. I can't show you here because I don't I don't have it, but but I mean you see it right here, right? It costs both either twelve hundred silver medals or twelve hundred gold medals, and it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why. 